Testing, testing, is this thing on? Can you see me? Yes? No? We're gonna make some bread today. Today is the 1st of August, and that means it is the Swiss National Day. So I thought, why not show you guys one of my favorite breads, which is called Sopf. Try it. Sopf. Sopf. Good job. Yeah. Um, really easy bread, and it tastes so good, you guys. It's, it's buttery soft. It's, it's heaven soft. It's, yeah, it's, it's a cloud. It's a cloud. I just and said that. Yeah, but like in dead. Bread, 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 cloud. Bread, bread cloud, bread cloud, bread cloud. Hey, you can easily shove that one. Bread cloud. <laughs> first things first, you want to just have some, something to drink. That's step one. Okay, so next step is to get some flour, and you need about 500 grams of all-purpose flour, which is on that side. I'll be right back. Okay, just plunk that in there. We also need a little sugar. I'm using raw sugar, but you can obviously use whatever you have. Add that in there as well. And the butter is... Why? Why? So add instant yeast, about one and a half teaspoons, and add a little salt, about a teaspoon, and we're good. All right, next we're gonna add some milk to this. Switch your mixer on and let this beauty do its work. Okay, so you just want to mix it until it comes together into a really nice soft dough. And the next step is to let it rest. Just bringing the dough together, plunk it in there, and then you want to cover it. Cup stayeth, please. And I'm gonna let this rise until it doubles in size and we'll be right back. Once your dough has risen, you want to just cut it into two equal pieces. So you wanna roll your dough out until it gets to about 70 centimeters. And usually with this dough, the center will be slightly bigger and the edges, um, or the two ends will be smaller. So once you've rolled out both pieces of dough, you just want to braid it and everybody has their own little method here so i'm not even going to say mine's the right way because i i struggle with this every time i make it um anyway so you just want to braid and i usually do an over and under kind of motion to bring all the pieces together and you'll see the top is usually thicker and it gets thinner as it goes down and when you get to the ends, just tuck the ends in. So once you've braided it, what's left is just an egg wash. We just cracked one egg and beat it. And then you want to add your egg wash and make sure you evenly coat the bread on the top. Once you've covered your whole bread with the egg wash, you want to set it aside for 30 minutes to rise before you put it in the oven. This helps plump it up and make it extra soft. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and what do I yeah. usually say? What? Um, oh, happy cooking. I haven't said that in a while, but yeah. We'll catch you in the next video. Oh, see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Stop shaking.